Welcome back. This is Stan, and we are with churchupkeep.com. Although you may have found me or saw some of my videos on some of the other sites that um, I'm on. Anyway, I want to talk to you about the best website hosting in the USA. <clears throat> and I have two companies that are up and basically you know if you're on a budget then you want to go with Bluehost if you're not on a budget but it's still a reasonable price it's still under $250 a year you want to go with GoDaddy and this is for a WordPress website this will give you the best what the pros use um, and you can do it yourself for your your local church and it's real easy to do um, but we want to focus in on these two website hosting companies and <clears throat> both offer great technical support uh, Bluehost does offer you a free SSL certification where GoDaddy you will have to purchase one um, Bluehost has the cPanel which is ideal and best for designing websites just in case you had to deal with any type of major technical issues GoDaddy has a cPanel but you have to pay extra for that and have to request it up front before you even really purchase your WordPress plan with them and we're really dealing with WordPress themes here, um, which I've already talked to you in another video about Ocean WP, which I think is the best theme on the market right now. Um, but today we're going to be talking about um, hosting companies. And I've been with GoDaddy for many years, and I really like the way they do things. Uh, truth is, I've never really used Bluehost. I'm hearing a lot of recommendations about for the first time starting a, uh, a website. They are excellent for that. Um, but I do want to, you know, point out <clears throat> that these are the best two options in the United States. <clears throat> I'm looking at a website here called hostingadvice.com, how to largest website, um, and GoDaddy is 28. I mean, 20.8% of all websites are on GoDaddy. Bluehost has 5.0% of websites being hosted on them. And this is of September of 2018 when this article was written. Um, each person, there's a couple of different people who wrote on this one article, I have talked about things. Um, I highly recommend GoDaddy. They also are the highest stockholder uh, web company in the in in the USA so I really highly recommend them but these two companies are based here in the United States uh, unlike some of the others that may be somewhere else in the world or may have a hub here in the United States but their headquarters is somewhere else um, anyway I just wanted you you know kind of look at this and you know you kind of can see how you know they compare to one another <clears throat> off this one website um, this review is a little bit different than my competitors out there <clears throat> where they're always giving you the top 10 um, truth is I'm not getting any affiliate links back from either one of these companies right now uh, in the future when uh, my pages have really increased then I'm going to really kind of go after GoDaddy and offer that as a service to customers uh, but either one of these hosting companies and they probably both will be on my site if there's no uh, complications with you know the affiliate program about that uh, but I do kind of do recommend GoDaddy great support um, now they're a little funny um, if you do have a WordPress theme and you got plugins, they will not 
go in and touch those plug plugins when you call technical support. Technical support is quick and fast to get hold of somebody. Uh, they're really good. Um, most of the sites that I've got on there, which are for right now, uh, they, they all have a 99% uptime, which I really like. The truth is, I don't know nothing about Bluehost. I've never messed with them. I have another company that I, 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 I have some hosting on, and after I got to thinking about it, I decided that I want to, you know, put my money in the United States and not in some other country. And come to find out, that web hosting company is actually out of the UK. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> they're good, but they're not here in the United States. And there are several other ones here in the United States that you can use. Um, but it's best that you use a WordPress website with a cPanel so that you can make a lot of the adjustments yourself and save some money. One thing great about GoDaddy, they have a, uh, a maintenance package where you can actually hire a pro to go in and fix some of the troubles on your website so you don't have to mess with the CSS or the HTML code or anything like that. <clears throat> they can they can also suggest some upgrades that you can do to make your site faster and so forth. <clears throat> and usually you can put in like $100 for the whole month and each ticket only costs 20 bucks. So, you know, if you got like a, a major issue that needs to be taken care of, that one ticket <clears throat> will pretty much take care of it as long as it's not <clears throat> a lot of tasks that has to be done. So, you know, that's another reason why I like GoDaddy. <clears throat> and a lot of people going, might not, not agree with me on this. But GoDaddy is the number one domain seller in the United States. They're also pretty much the number one website hosting company in the United States. So <clears throat> that's why I'm highly going with GoDaddy. GoDaddy is a little bit more money. Um, Bluehost says that you can host a website, a WordPress website for $2.99. <clears throat> And then at the end of the year, they go on a triple, they usually double the price of that. And GoDaddy is saying they got a 249, but that's not a WordPress theme. That is actually for a um, the website builder, which I do not recommend at all. Um, when the page, when the website resizes on different screens, then the layout of the pages get all scrambled and all messed up and it just doesn't look right. So I highly stay away from the, the low-end um, website builders that like Yahoo and GoDaddy, AT&T, <clears throat> all those companies offer. It, they're, they're just not really well, internet friendly, if you know what I mean. Um, and in today's world, you want a site that's going to be extremely uh, responsive when it comes to mobile devices. So that's why I'm recommending WordPress. <clears throat> and you can get a really inexpensive site up for a year for $150, $180. And, you know, well, let's just dive into it. And I'm going to go on into um, Bluehost. Uh, you can go to Bluehost at uh, www.bluehost.com. <clears throat> they offer, you know, they swear up and down they're the best website provider out there. <clears throat> um, one thing I will give Bluehost over GoDaddy is they're offering you a free SSL where GoDaddy's is about $76 a year for their SSL. Um, this site's really nice. Excuse me, pardon me on that. And I want to do a WordPress site. And let's compare plans. Any great 
a live recording. <clears throat> you probably need the first one. This plan is $2.95. It comes with automatic WordPress installed and updated, free SSL certification, and free domain and registration for the first year. And that's the basic plan. You get uh, one free year domain. Most company, most hosting companies do give you a free domain for the year. Uh, this offers you five park domains and 25 subdomains, and they give you a $50 marketing car credit that you can use on Google um, AdWords or Bing or one of those other. Uh, website uh, uh, search engines to uh, help promote your website but you really don't need it and it's really kind of a waste of money in my, my opinion and from my experience some people say jump on it uh, but you know we're dealing with church websites here so you really ain't going to need it just try to promote stuff on Facebook so the community can see it or if you can get into next door I recommend that and like I said, I can't really say a whole lot, but uh, some of the uh, SEO uh, website people out there are talking about this is the best plan to get you a website up for practically nothing. Yes, Wix does offer you a free website. Uh, stay away from Wix. They're, um, the SEO part of Wix just isn't going to really help your website grow and if you do decide to do some affiliate linking on your church site to promote some Christian literature and books and our, and stuff like that then Wix can uh, slow your ranking score down with Google and everybody so that's why I recommend one of these two hosts is let's go to GoDaddy and look at what their plans are right now with GoDaddy you can get a WordPress website and get 30% off using this code right here. If you use code GET30 OFF when you check out, you'll save 30% off of your uh, web hosting package for the year. And as you can see, their cheapest plan is the deluxe plan, which is six seventy nine. Because with one website it comes with a free domain, it comes with ten gigabyte of SD SSD storage. Um, that's good for about twenty five thousand visitors a month. Uh, it comes with an SFTP access. Uh, what that is, is you download FileZilla and you can uh, work on the cPanel through FileZilla, Fire but you don't have straight access to your um, cPanel. <sighs> okay, um, you can go with the Deluxe. It's a little bit more. Now remember, you can save 30% off using that code too. So right now, if you look at the 679, it's on sale for 999. Then you add that 30% off. You you know you won't get it down further than that. Um, I would recommend you going with the 1599 plan. Uh, reason why is because you want to save 75 dollars on the first year of uh, your certification. And let's go ahead and add that to the cart. And like I said, it would be nice if they would have the, the uh, C panel plan up and running. Because once you get big enough, you're going to have to transfer that site over. And it's going to cost a lot of money. But as you can see here, for three years, 36 months, the total is going to cost you $575.64 for five years. We want to click the 12 month deal and that'll bring your price down to $215.88 for the year. And I was still off on uh, telling you uh, the correct price on that because I told you it'd be under $200. 
and I do apologize for that. And you can go and look and you know type in your uh, um, on the domain, and you can move on. I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to check out. Um, I'm gonna clear mine out so that I'm not purchasing this plan. I'm just wanting to show you, you know, how these things work. And this is going to be for one year. And still, now, somewhere around here, you're supposed to be able to put in. Um, the uh, uh, code, I'm thinking it's near the, the final checkout, near uh, billing information and all that. And then you can put the code in and you know you're going to save a whole lot more money. But those are my recommendations. Uh, I do recommend you sticking with GoDaddy. Uh, I know it sounds like a lot of money, but I would. And anyway, um, I'm going to pause this video and then pick it back up. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I just was logging into my account. I just didn't want to show you all, all my stuff. Right now, I'm in the domain side of this, and I am logged into my site. You can see my name up here. Let's go into my um, my products page. Okay, when you pull up your My Products page, it's going to look like this. If you got anything that needs to be renewed, it'll come up here, and it's up to you if you want to renew certain things of the site because they, you know, offer some things. Um, but first, they'll come up with your domains. Then they'll come up with Manage WordPress, your uh, Office 365, Workspace email, your certifications and email marketing if you want it and the premium support this premium support is where I was telling you you can you know have them come in and fix things pretty reasonable uh, first time around though it's $49.99 just for them to look at your site and diagnose what is wrong with it and then it's twenty dollars Sometimes it could be a couple of different items. You know, if they need like optimize images, well, it's twenty dollars for them to optimize in images. If it's, um, you know, they have to uh, do something to where it fixes the up upload when you time to update your plugins and stuff like that. Um, it, you know, it'll, it'll take a look at that, uh, and that'll be like a twenty dollar fix to fix that in your C panel if you don't have your C panel. Um, but I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit about it, you know. And then after you're here, you want to come down to Manage WordPress. You click on that. You will probably just have one website to manage where I have multiple ones. And then basically all you need to do is here's your list of your websites. And if you want to go look at one, we'll do with Church Upkeep. You can go straight to this page here, which, as you can see on mine, I have here at the developer section, I have five websites, 50 gigabytes of SSD storage. I can get 800,000 monthly visitors, and I have the uh, SSH and S. FTP access, which the SFTP access is basically FireZilla to get into it. You also have a one click staging. Then you can scroll down to settings and it will show you what, what all is going on with your website. It can show you your IP address, stuff like that, which I probably shouldn't show you, but oh well. <clears throat> I'll have to like cut that out when I edit the video. Um, you can check your performance, which, you know, slow websites. <clears throat> and, I mean, I like GoDaddy. <clears throat> and as you can see, my website's 100% performance in, um, in GoDaddy. So, that's great. We greatly appreciate you coming to our site. And we would like for you to... Subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications. Thanks for watching.